we are going to go scale Bryce Peak. We are overheating. Uh, so I, you can uh, when you have something that's failing, what are you going to do? Well, so the plan was to get up in here and talk to you about how awesome the Jeep run to Rice Peak was. And it was awesome, but there were problems. And there's always problems, okay? By the way, I'm doing a little skateboarding at my lunchtime. Anyway, there's always problems, but these were bigger problems or could have been really bad problems. Nonetheless, so what happened on Rice Peak? We did our normal thing. You know, Ken said he was gonna lead and so we got to the trailhead and did a little air down and got onto the trail. And it was supposed to be a pretty easy trail and in a lot of respects it was, but there was, um, it was very rocky. It was very rocky. It seemed like the whole trail was at an incline. Yeah, that's perfect. And it required four-wheel drive, at least for me. I'm not that confident in two-wheel drive. I like to drive in four-wheel drive. All right, so it required four-wheel drive. Um, and it was at an incline the whole time. It seemed like there were never any flat spots to the trail. Why does that matter? Well, we got going and there was a lot of switchbacks and oh, and um, switchbacks are where you have to, you know, you come up to a turn, it's a very sharp turn. You gotta make like a, a three or four point turn. You gotta back up a little bit and then redirect and go a little bit further, you know, back up, re-aim your vehicle into the turn. So there's a lot of switchbacks. And that's where my Jeep started to overheat. And I thought, oh no, I'm on a trail and my Jeep's overheating. And this is not gonna be an easy trail to get towed out of if that's what it comes to. So what do you do when you start overheating? Cope with what you got. Well, the first thing is you got to assess what's going on. How bad is the overheating? In my case, my Jeep was doing something weird. It was getting up to a high temperature and then it was cooling down. If I stopped pushing, like if I came to a stop and then idled, it would cool down. And then I would get going again, it would overheat, idle, cool down. So I just sort of repeated that process. You know, we got on the walkie talkies, I was communicating with the team, you know, this is what's happening. And repeated that process and just pushed forward, said, okay, we're gonna make it to the top. And we made it up to Rice Peak. And that view is beautiful. But it was a little bit dampened by um, the fact that I was you know, pretty stressed out about the overheating and didn't get all the shots I wanted on the cameras. And you know, there's other people I didn't know there, so I had to weigh their concerns with mine and that type of thing. So that's, that's kind of, that, that's like the first part of this adventure and then of course, Ken took us to some caves and, you know, I went into a, went into a cave, realized that I had this little dinky camera light and I was all by myself. <laughs> like everybody stayed back. It's like, wait a second, nobody's following me in here and it's kind of lonely and dark. So that was, uh, that was interesting. I turned around and bailed. Lonely, dark and damp in a cave by yourself. Some light. Um, there. I can see some light oh. right now. 
So we get back to the trailhead. You know, we air up and I'm able to make it home. But now I'm thinking at what cost? I've got a Jeep that's overheating. I got to figure that out. So when you have a part or when you have something that's happening in your car, you know, you try to diagnose it. And if there's a part in that chain, that's usually the weakest link. You, you say to yourself, can I change that out? Maybe that'll cure the problem. So that's what I did. And I changed out the thermostat. Um, changed out the thermostat and that did not really help. So now I am thinking about taking it to a mechanic, getting the overheating issue diagnosed by somebody who's got a little more experience than me and seeing if we can solve this problem without having to replace the radiator because that would be expensive and crappy to do. So we're gonna see if we can get this thing resolved or not. And um, yeah, that's where we're at. When it's overheating, when you have something that's failing, what are you gonna do? Don't panic, get a plan. And to find out what happened, come back for part two of this. Oh shit. <laughs> I meant to turn the camera around. Ah. Like 20. 20? Yeah. Pull uh, either back up or pull forward a tiny bit. You're on that dang rock again. <laughs> Fear faced, recurring nightmare of caving in, defeated. I am successfully out of there. Didn't go very far, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> About 10 paces in, I turned around and ran. No, no, you didn't. <laughs>